Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you're listening to this, welcome to Mount Calvary's Daily Devotion for Tuesday, February 13th. Yesterday we started our series this week talking about be still and. And different things that we're doing this week when we're being still. Yesterday we talked about being still and listening to God, listening to his call, listening to his word. Well, today we're going to talk about being still and focusing on God. I'd invite you to pray with me. Dear Heavenly Father, help us to be still and breathe in. And breathe out. And lean on your forgiveness, love, and mercy all the days of our lives. Amen. Today our, our reading is going to come out of the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 14, starting at verse 22 and going through verse 33. And we're going to be reading a passage that is very well known. Um, I think if you go up to almost any Christian and ask them what two people stood on water, they probably could name at least one of them. Uh, Some would probably be able to name two. But we're going to be reading the, the passage about Jesus and Peter walking on water, and I want you to listen to it almost as you've never read it before. Follow along, please. Matthew 14, starting at verse 22. Immediately he made the disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side, while he dismissed the crowds. And after he had dismissed the crowds, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. But the boat by this time was long away from land, beaten by waves, for the wind was against them. And in the fourth watch of the night, he came to them walking on the sea but when the disciples saw him walking on the sea they were terrified and they said it is a ghost and they cried out in fear but immediately jesus spoke to them saying take heart it is i do not be afraid and peter answered him lord if it is you command me to come out onto you on the water jesus said come So Peter got out of his boat and walked on the water and came to Jesus. But he saw the wind and he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand, took hold of him, saying to him, O you of little faith, why did you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind ceased. And those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. Today, as I said, we're focusing on focus. Be still and focus on Jesus. This is one of my favorite stories in the Bible, one of my favorite accounts of Jesus. Because Peter, on the surface area, seems like he's the one that's got the littlest faith, you know. Because when he he drowns and he falls and Jesus says, oh, you of little faith. But the faith of Peter to step out of the boat gave him an experience that none of the other disciples ever had, walking on water. And then when Peter begins to walk on the water, it's important to know where is his focus. He's focused on Jesus. He's not looking at other things. He's not looking at the wind and the waves and the things of this world. No, he's looking at the Son of God. He's focused on the Son of God and he takes one step, looking at Jesus, and he takes another step. However, as he begins to lose focus, he looks around and he sees the waves. He looks around, he sees the rain and the wind. And down he goes because he's lost his focus and he's lost his faith. You see, when we lose focus of Jesus, which is, I want to be honest, is very easy to do. It's very, very easy to lose focus on Jesus in this world. 
You know, with the errands we have to run, with, you know, maybe we've got to take our kids to basketball practice, and then we've got to take our other kid to cheerleading practice, and we've got to somehow feed them and somehow get them ready for bed, and we need to do a devotion somewhere in there, maybe if we have time, or maybe we've got a doctor's appointment, or maybe we've got to go travel to see family, or we live in a busy, busy world where sometimes it is so easy to, to take our focus off of Jesus and to look around at the other things of this world. However, when we begin to look around, we begin to drown. We begin to drown, maybe not in the sea, I hope not, but we begin to drown in the things of this world. And when you drown in water, you don't get out of it, you fall deeper into it. And we fall deeper into the things of this world and lose sight of Jesus even more. Staying focused on Jesus is the only thing that gives us the power to withstand the storm around us like Peter did. I love sports. I love, absolutely love sports. I love playing basketball. And, and when I was thinking about reading this passage, uh, one of the traditions of basketball came in my mind. It's the free throw. That's when you, you're standing at a line, you're facing the basket, and there's no defense allowed to be played. Then you get the ball, and you just have to shoot it and make it in. Sounds easy enough, right? Sounds like professional basketball players should be able to do this so, so easily. They could do it, they should be able to do it every time. However, it's so hard to focus in that moment because you've got the crowds all around you. You've got the players all watching you. Every fan is watching you in that moment to see if you could make the shot. And we lose focus because of all the other things going on around us. Peter, when he focused on Jesus, could begin to take those steps. When we focus on Jesus, we begin to take those steps in faith. And when we look around and our faith starts to wither, starts to dwindle, we drown. However, thank God. Thank God for Jesus who reaches down when we are drowning in the world and lifts us up with his grace and with his mercy. Jesus doesn't let us drown in the world. He lifts us up. He walks us back to the boat. And he says, try again. You see, Jesus never leaves us. Even when we take our focus off of him, Jesus is always with us. And there to pick us up when we fall. I invite you to pray with me. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for Jesus, your one and only Son. Thank you so much that you never leave us or forsake us. Thank you so much for your mercy, love, and grace every time we begin to drown. I pray that you would keep us safe this day and focus on you. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope to see you again tomorrow.